I believe we are live. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> it's uh, it's been about two weeks. Holidays have come and gone, uh, and we are finally back at the bench. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I was super sick last week, so I, I didn't I didn't really do anything. Um, <clears throat> I got my Secret Santa gift out for I did the Prop Tart Secret Santa this year which was super fun. I got a really cool thing uh, in the mail, which I'm hoping to do some stuff with, uh, maybe even this week. Um, uh, but I, I didn't really do much else. I kind of just got that in the mail and, uh, you know, slept off uh, the flu, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I can't even say it was something uh, super, super interesting like COVID. I, I got the flu. I got the flu and it laid me out. Uh, but we are back at the bench uh, at last. And uh, we're doing something that I was kind of hoping to do last week, what with all the, you know, all the, the Spider-Man frenzy. Uh, but instead, uh, we're going to be doing it this week. Uh, and so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really jazzed about this because, you know, we, we did a lot of work uh, uh, last week to finish up the foundation. For those of you who are uh, curious about that, this was the final version of that. We did finish it up. Uh, and I'm going to be releasing those for free this week as part of sort of a wrap-up round up to 2021 uh kind of going back to Fortnite, which is you know where i love to make my bread and butter stuff this is uh really fun to make patterns from so this will be free and it's been out for my patrons for like two weeks now so if you like what i do if you like these templates and whatnot please feel free to you know check out the patreon uh but for now we're going to be looking a little bit at this green goblin which i found floating around the internet with no name attached to it um, and, uh, just trying to research it even a little, uh, it, it, it feels like one of those helmet models that has actually been, it's so old in terms of Epicure that it's actually kind of hard to figure out who, who actually owns it and who just modified it. So uh, today we're just going to kind of take my, my take on it. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit of editing to it to see if we can't make it a little cleaner, a little easier to work with for foam, especially. Um, and we're also going to, uh, try to give it lenses, uh, in 3D, because that, that is always just way, way easier. Hi, Diaxis! Welcome to the stream. I am, uh, once again, uh, not, uh, health, healthy feels like a strong word, uh, but I am once again here for a stream. Uh, it's a, it's a homemade margarita kind of night, so... We're sipping, and we're going to be doing some pep. Now, I've actually already exported this from Bepicura so that we can edit the model, like, just a little bit. Like, just like that much. The kind of editing that you could do really fast yourself if you wanted to. Um, so I've exported it, and the way we do that is actually very simple. We go File, Export, Texture Editing, actually. And I go down and just export the OBJ. It's, it's that simple. We just export the .obj file, uh, and I'm going to open it in Blender here. This is just the basic, what comes up when you, you're looking in Blender. Uh, and so I'm going to import, 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 where is it? See, <laughs> lol, see, oh, oh my god, uh, healthy is a, it's a strong word for where I'm at right now, but I'm, I'm kind of getting back on the up and up. You'll note I didn't even really make a... Uh, a thumbnail for this. I just kind of stuck a picture of the Pepicura <laughs> up so that I could have a, a placeholder there. Uh, where is... There it is. Green Goblin Mask right at the top, of course. Uh, okay, so we got the OBJ right here, and what I'm about to do is actually probably going to offend uh, big-time users of Blender because uh, I'm basically not even going to use Blender uh, I'm essentially going to go to edit mode, uh, make sure I've got everything selected. If you're not, you can hit A, selects everything there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it, that I access. Good evening, Melvin. Good evening, Augustin Robinson. Uh, and then let's start by going to mesh, clean up. Uh, oh, not mesh, clean up, excuse me. Instead, face tries to quads. There we go. Just turn all those triangles into quads, uh, generally speaking. Uh, and make sure that I've got some of the, some of the pieces that I wanted to be straight lines. Still, still a straight lines here. Uh, but generally, I'm I'm more or less just trying to clean up the geometry quickly without doing a ton of work. Hey there, John Weger. Whoops. There we go. Uh, holding Shift to select multiples of these at a time. I'm I'm doing very basic edits here. 
uh, just so that uh, I've got a slightly, ever, ever, ever so slightly cleaner mesh uh, to work with in in Pepecura. Uh Let's see. Uh, that's honestly that's that looks pretty good already. Um, there's something weird going on with this cheek detail here. You know what I think we need? I think we need uh, an image. Um, here I've actually got this this image here uh, pulled up on another screen. Uh, it actually does look like that cheek detail is ever so slightly raised the way the way that it is. So I think I might keep that more or less as is. Um, it looked messy initially, but now the, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm, I'm thinking this is actually probably about as clean as it's going to get. Generally. Generally. Yeah, I might call it on the face part there in terms of complexity. The nostril's a little weird. I almost want to, like, sounds dumb, but I almost want to, like, scale from the center of these two and just be like, oh... That's a slightly easier shape to uh, conceptualize. <laughs> there, I bet you I could just scoot that forward ever so slightly. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I feel like I didn't mess with the shape too hard, but it's a little easier to understand. Uh, I'm also going to. We're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna grab this one because we want to do this symmetrically. I'm just gonna dissolve these edges here, uh, and I'm gonna reorient them this way and uh, that way uh, and that's just I, in my mind that's a little bit cleaner uh, and then let's uh... oh hey hell yeah can't wait to see your take on the halo infinite armor I think that's gonna be really cool looking let's see here just grabbing literally all the interior edges or er, vertices of that I'm gonna hit F who look it's a gaggle. It's that. It's that simple, folks. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna break that up just a little a bit uh, in the way that I want to, but uh, that is more or less just essentially how you do it. Oh no! I think I missed a, an edge there. Oh, I think I did. Oh no! 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 Oh, I hope I can go back far enough and not just screw it up. Let's see. Yeah, I totally messed that up. I wanted to go there. Yeah, let's just double check around this here. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Uh, there are other tools and ways you can kind of get these edge loops together and better defined, but uh, uh, the weirdness of the shape of this helmet, I was just like, we'll just manually grab all that. And these are these are edits too that literally anybody can do in Blender. It's free software. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Oh wait, I goofed. I gotta gotta make the one before I can make the other. Blur. You know, why don't I just, there we go. Now we'll do this side. Because I'm an idiot. Here we go. <laughs> hey, baby, listen up to understand the tasty thing my body demands. Such a fine cuisine. I want to tell you what I mean I don't want french fried potatoes or red ripe tomatoes I'm never satisfied I want I want the frim fram sauce with the awesome fay and she if I on the side I don't want pork chops and bacon that won't awaken my appetite inside. I want the frim fram sauce with the yasin fay and she if I on the side. Now fellas really got to eat and a fella should eat right. Five will get you ten. I'm gonna feed myself right tonight. I don't want fish cakes and rye bread. You heard what I said. Waiter, please serve mine fried. Man, I want the free and fram sauce with us and fair. And she far, far on the side. 
Now this enough You gotta understand The tasty thing my body demands Oh yeah Yo, what? Oh, there we go. Sorry. I want this to go from there to there instead, just because shaping. Yeah, that's way better. Sorry. Okay. Uh... <laughs> no, you guys, you guys chat as much as you want. This is, this is a super fun, this is a super fun thing for me is getting to talk with you guys and just getting to see you guys chat. Um... You're right. You could always do one side and and do symmetry, and then do just do the quick merge across the center. But this thing is so simple, and I'm not doing very extravagant edits to begin with. I figured to myself, you know, why not just do the 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 handful of quick edits on both sides, just because they are they're truly that quick. Um, here I might just draw that back into there. Yeah, sweet. Um, and that looks that looks pretty good to me. Uh, and we've got we've got uh, this super awesome <laughs> this super awesome uh, set of lenses there that'll be great for foam building. Maybe not great for other types of building because of course it's not actually curved. Uh, but this will be very clear at the very least. Um, so let's uh, re-export this. We uh, go to actually I'll I'll go to object mode real quick, uh, and we're going to oh you know what just for safety's sake. Uh, let's actually go back to edit mode a mesh cleanup. Just make sure there aren't any weird Any weird extraneous. No, there weren't but just in case <laughs> Yeah, you guys you guys go ahead and complain about how I'm whipping a million miles an hour But in fairness this particular stream uh, isn't so much about uh, Green Goblin helmet Cleaned isn't so much about using Blender as it is about uh, using Papakira. So this one's more of a, hey, just so you know, I did do a little cleaning on this, uh, but instead of uh, this being a, oh, whoops, instead of this being a, uh, a Blender night, because uh, we have had many Blender nights, uh, instead we're mostly just gonna be focusing on Papakira. So this is what it looked like before, uh, and now, and I open up a new one. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted, hang on. Where did you go? That's what I wanted. Uh, we're not flipping this inside out, but I am trying to find the front, which I think is on the back there. Yep, I was right. Uh, next, no invert, that looks great. Sweet. Uh, so now this is just a little bit cleaner and uh, a little a bit uh, more detailed, ever so slightly. <laughs> Um, I did not take the time to go through and do teeth. Uh, that might be just a, a personal thing, but I will say, uh, you know, just the teeth sculpt is a really cheap thing. And Green Goblin's teeth, um, yeah. Blender has gotten way better, way, way better to access. Um, uh, the Green Goblin's teeth are basically vampire teeth. So you just, like, bought yourself uh, a pair of, like, those cheap, children's vampire teeth for like a buck just glue those in there it's gonna be way easier than trying to like model them out and sculpt them i i honestly think it's not worth your time uh so let's let's oh uh oh shoot oh i goofed oh i i deleted the thing that i i was working on shoot no invert there we go Sorry about that, everybody. Um, so let's go ahead and we can sort of make the 3D window big by just moving the center line as over as we can. Mm. And now, let's see here. I'm actually, I'm thinking maybe we, yeah, we'll kind of do split screen thing here. Uh, so that I've got the the image of the, the real thing there sort of next to us and I bet Oh, I bet you if I modify the... No, the viewing angle's not going to get much better. This is about what we got. It's pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead, 3D menu, edit mode, specify some cut line edges. We'll just kind of start to uh, 
block out the major shapes. So we're going around the ear. Actually, I bet if I go to edge selecting, edges between two points, do this a little bit faster by selecting uh, groups of points that we sort of want to just buzz through here. Ah, come on. Yeah, I like that. Already we're sort of getting the uh, the base shapes in the right place. Um, you know, in the interest of just having like a starting place, I think I'm going to separate uh, the the ear frame, like the outer line of this ear, from the rest of the unfold. Uh, and if we're able to uh, sort of stick it back in there later on, that's fine. But if we can't, uh, that's so be it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war. I want a good steed under me like my forefathers before. And I want a good mount when the bugle sounds and I hear the cannons roar. I want to be in the cavalry if they send me off to war. Yeah, I want a horse and I want a tin horse and riding forth the dawn. Please save for me some gallantry that I let go and I'm gone. And I beg of you, sir, to lead the charge when the battle lines are drawn. Let me at least leave a good hoofbeat, they'll remember loud and long. I'd not a good foot soldier make, I'd be sour and slow at march. Yeah, I'd be sick on a navy ship, and the sea would leave me parched. But I'll be first in line if you let me ride, by God, you'll see my starch. Look back for the heat of the laurel wreath underneath that victory arch. I want to be in the cavalry to send me off to war. I want a good steed under me like my forefathers before. And I want a good mount when the bugle sounds and I hear the cannons roar. I want to be in the cavalry if I must go off to war. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's sort of wing out the brow. Yep, sort of do a line through that whole edge just like this. Oh, that's going great. Well, hi, Ds. Just tuned in, already know how you're going to make this. That's that's great. That's what I love to hear. That's why I do these streams. I don't know. I've had people I've had people get, get ornery with me before about, like, what's free and what's not on this channel. But, like, I do these streams because I really, I really do sincerely hope that people will use these templates and make them. Uh, it's really quite fun to me um oh god you know what i need like a side view green green goblin helmet side <laughs> oh hey do3d just did like a you know there's just gonna be really really quite extravagant as from in terms of like what a side view looks like oh no here's here's somebody else entirely here let's let's open this image open this this image completely separately as well. Yeah. Okay. So that that gives me a, a much clearer sense of where I actually want to break this up because before I probably would have broken it up around this curve, but now I'm seeing I, I kind of want it to go across to like here. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Down to there, and you know because I'm breaking it across there, we'll break it across here, uh, and it's just that simple. It really is. Um. Wow, that's uh, pretty straightforward. I actually really like that piece. Now, there's more we could be doing here. Th there is. Uh, like, if I really wanted to be ornery, obviously there's sort of a radial thing, a plated thing happening this way, uh, and none of the lines here support that. I could go through and add a little bit of texture for that, probably. You know, I bet you that's, that's pretty within the scope of this stream, honestly. Ooh, now that I'm looking at this a little bit closer, I kind of want to actually extend the, the, the ear edge piece down to like here i think that'll make more sense Ooh, yeah see this is why i love having lots of references let's go back to single edges for just a moment here 
the inner ear shape is going to be kind of hot garbage for a second. We'll come back to that. Ooh, you know what? I bet if I if I were to just save this real quick, real quick, so that I don't screw up. Uh, let's go to view setup. Let's go to shade and kind of show off what we're doing a little bit better here. Yeah, that looks a little clearer to me now. I'll be honest. Um, let's grab this, come across to there, sort of separate out the uh, the inner piece of the eye. Yeah. In fact, we'll go across like that and create sort of this goggle-esque feel, almost almost a mask unto itself the around the eyepiece. Made the Vader, Rex, Phase 1 clone, a couple others, but I completely forgot that you also did the templating streams. Uh, I, you know, I've been trying to figure out a good way to, like, bridge the gap because uh, I've determined, slowly, over time, th that the people who watch these streams are not necessarily the people who watch, like, my build videos, are not necessarily the people who are coming to me asking for templates. Which is really hard, because I don't have a really good consolidated, like lexicon like library of templates um there's a lot of them aren't on peppa carry library because and and i don't mean any disrespect to the people on peppa carry library i have had it happen multiple times where either people edit like one small thing about my templates and erase my name from it which is frustrating or perhaps even more like t twigging me out personally uh is when people go through and do things that I know they think are massively improving my templates, but are actually making them like way harder, more difficult, or, or, or even worse, just like more complicated for no clear reason. Like I had a guy go through, because a lot of my templates span multiple pages, right? I had a guy go through and uh, break up all the parts so they could all stick on one page. And I was like, why would you do that? And he was like, well, I'll just cut them out and then stick them together. And I was like, Pepicure already shows you how to do that if you just print them on multiple pages. It's so simple. Why would you do this? <laughs> you just created more steps to do this the same thing. I I Are you okay? <laughs> it's always just so it, it irks me. It irks me and, and perhaps more than it should, admittedly. Uh, but what, what really, what really wigs me out though, is that I find that that tends to drive people away because they go, oh, it's, it's more complicated than I thought, etc. And I'm like, no, 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 it was actually very, very simple. Um, and th this person is uh, unfortunately just overthinking this and I, I really wish they wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see here. I think if we separate this there, that could be, that could be good. Yeah. Yeah. She? She? Yeah, I'm sure you know that feeling, Dayaxis. I don't know. I've debated releasing a lot more locked files, uh, but ultimately, uh, I'm always won over by the fact that I, I know a lot of people get a lot of really good use out of these files, uh, and a big part of that is the fact that they are not only free, but open and editable. It editable. Abdominable. Abominable. And... At the end of the day, I, it's more important to me that, like, this is all very useful to everybody, right? So. Yeah. Um, I'm so torn, uh, because on the one hand, I can make this with just a, a completely separate eyepiece, right? And on the other hand, I could use the eyepiece as the center of, like, one solid sort of, like, mask-looking piece. And I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to lean towards the just separated eyepiece but know that it p could probably be done if you did wanted to make a display piece uh that wasn't a, a real lens uh, and you were just going to paint over some foam you could do that pretty easily with this pattern do -do 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 -do. there we go hola hmm. <sighs> i don't want to do that I don't want to do that diaxis and I, I totally respect doing that. That's the other thing is that like sometimes I've had people yell at me to essentially saying, hey, you know, trying to say that like people shouldn't be paid for files. I'm like, that's not true. I sell some files like get paid for doing things really well. But the reason I do these things 
is specifically because I want the community to just kind of have fun, and, and I think, generally speaking, more people could benefit from, you know, enjoying this hobby. And I want more people to enjoy this hobby. I really do. I really do. Um, okay, so now that I'm kind of, like, jumping back and forth here, I'm seeing that this should have sort of an... Oh, man, I'm, I'm getting a little lost in the sauce here. Okay, so there's definitely, like, a cheek edge to this, like, there. <laughs> and then... And then that gets sort of raised up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see this. Yeah, there we go. And this, this gets fully raised up from the cheek area like this. There we go. Yeah, no, that's pretty sure that's correct. That's the way I want it to, to work. Um, uh, and then... This is sort of the under chin piece right here. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't catch that in Blender. I would have connected that. Oh, I, I wish there was a good way to to do that at this point. Shoot. Yeah, see, and, and here's the thing. I also objectively sell my patterns for way less than a lot of people have indicated to me they feel they are worth. Uh, you know, most of my templates are three, five dollars in price. Um, you know, a lot of them are are just outright free, um, and so and that that also helps me personally not feel bad about doing things like oh, selling etc one for a certain price because I'm like yeah well I mean I I worked on that quite hard. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I wonder if there's a, a very, uh, shall we say, clever way for me to do this by dividing an edge. Uh, because if I... Hmm. Okay. Time to do some, what is it, um, time to do some sketchy shit, do-da, do-da, oh, get away with it, oh, do do da -de. Look, hey, here's the thing, if you, if you want to, if you honestly want to compensate me more than you already have, you, you are more than free to check out my Patreon, but if you don't, that's fine, I'm not here to, like, say, oh, I'm only gonna keep doing this stuff. Uh, because of the Patreon. I think that that is, uh, for me at least, uh, stingy and kind of antithetical to the to the reason that I do this. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Now if I swap these two edges. Ha! Did it. Ooh, that was some... <laughs> oh, that was a little bit of mental gymnastics to, uh, to get that to do that. But now I've got a, a more beefy under the chin piece. Uh, please don't ask me to do that again. Uh, I barely understood how I did it the first way there. <laughs> hey, ain't that the truth, you know? Uh, I, I, I think that this should be, you know, essentially worth the fun money, and that's, that's about how much I've always considered it to be worth. <sighs> By the light of the silvery moon, I want to croon with money in June. Honeymoon, keep her shining in June. Sing loves me, who will be calling soon. By the silvery moon, by the silvery moon, by the silvery moon, there by the light of the silvery. There by the light of the silvery moon, the moon. There we 
we go. Ooh, now comes the really tricky part of like, how do we break up this nose in a way that preserves shape, but also doesn't break it into a billion pieces? Uh, and I think my short answer is going to kind of be by trying to just do it where the shape should guide it. Uh, what do I mean by this? Uh, I mean, a couple of different things are about to happen here. First, I actually think that I should delete one of these edges, and I should do it right there. I think if I do that, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna fix a lot of problems that I'm having. Yeah, because that, that really fixes the shape of the nose. Uh, don't need to do a ton more to it, honestly. If I now just keep that here. The only thing I'm, I'm really bummed about now is I kind of want like a line from there to here. Uh, and I can do this in Pepicura. It's again, not the way it's meant to be used, but if I divide, Oh, whoops, uh, split these quads first, my bad. Split these quads. Just like, actually, did I? Yeah, I did, there we go. Uh, and then swap this, I could swap this edge first and foremost just to get that a straight line there and I actually might just do it that way or I could have divided the edge to get uh, an even more curved line. But there, look at that. <laughs> get my cash from 3D prints. I've always thought that Peppa Punk should be free. But people steal them. Peppa Punk. I'm just called Chase Sixty Nine. I I'm really sorry to hear. I was really sorry to hear about that because I thought I had like stumbled into something cool, and instead I had st stumbled into something sketchy, uh, which is never how you want to feel. That's never how you want to feel. You never want to go, oh yay, this thing that will make things easier, and it's like, oh no, it's actually just like a bad thing. And you're like, oh well, I feel bad now. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, the nose is probably going to be the weirdest part of this, other than maybe the inner ears. Uh, but good news, whoops, good news is uh, we are nearly done with all the 3D work on this. Uh, just about ready to jump to the, uh, to the 2D, which is going to be super chill. I'm actually really excited. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the easier things I've done in, in a hot minute. Um, boop, boop. Oh, shine on me. In the morning, shine on me. Will the light in the lighthouse shine on me? Oh, shine on me in the evening. Shine on me. I wonder if the lighthouse will shine on me. Oh, should be free tech for, oh yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying there. Um, that makes a lot of sense to me, honestly. Um, you know, I am, uh, I am actually just going to leave that as, as is more or less that top bit. Um, and then this actually should just, I can break this right here. Actually, we'll break it like that. Sweet. Uh, I think we just got to do the ear pieces real quick. Uh, and then we can, we can jump to the 2D. Okay, so <laughs> where are the brakes? Uh, I think that this should hypothetically be split like a along the center here. I think that's correct. Um, and we're going to do that in a sketchy, sketchy way. Uh, simply by dividing some edges. Well, we'll split this quad and then we'll divide some edges uh, and kind of get something close to a center line. Look at that. See, it's basically a center line. 
Pshaw. Uh, we might use a smooth, with the subdivide edges tool to kind of... No, Peppa Punk isn't soft where it's, it's, it's like... It's like the base unit is he's trying to get it, I think. Uh, the idea that some elements should just kind of be free. It's it's good software and good practice, right? Uh, let's see. If I go through and just smooth this down to like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, just down to like there. Oh, I've also got to change it from shader because the shader flips the hell out when you do it this way. Uh, let's run this up to 10. Yeah, look at that. Now it's all sort of sort of a single curve instead of a little wonk. Um, and then, so we got this curve right here. Yeah, just like that. Um, oh, I actually kind of don't like that. I'm gonna do one more delete here. We're gonna delete this edge so that that actually. Oh well, that. Yeah, that 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 works. I think. Yeah, that wasn't the way I thought it was gonna do it, but yeah, that that works for me. Let's go, I don't know, around here, sort of like that. Just trying to get the, the basics of this shape correct. Yeah. Hmm, it actually it looks like this should terminate either, should terminate like up here, I think. I could be mistaken. I could be just completely mistaking this because obviously this is not a perfect one-to-one -one on this. Um, but let's let's do that. And you know what? I think we, we might just, in the name of our own sanity, need to um, decide that this is sort of done right here. Y yes. Yeah, we'll we'll call that we'll call that good. Get all of the edges lined up that we had before on the other side. It's just that simple. And then we'll we'll make it work in the in the 2D window here. Yeah. Okay. Uh let's do our little quick little subdivide. Hit go. There we go. Now we got all the edges that we need there. Oh, and at last. Okay, here we go. Sweet. Okay, let's uh, save this. I'm actually gonna reopen this so that we can use the shader again. Sick. Okay, let's pull open the three, the two D window. Yeah, it's about right here. See. Okay, view setup, we'll shade that so we can kind of see what we're doing again here. And then we'll unfold it. It's not 135 inches tall, that feels incorrect. Uh, let's call it a little, it's big though, it's a really tall looking helmet. I'm gonna say 16 and a half-ish inches tall? It sounds about right. Uh, we're not gonna need flaps for this because we're making a foam build. Uh, we can start with some of the bigger shapes and sort of work our way up. Deliver I'm so yeah. There we go. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. 
coming for to carry me home. Why don't you swing down chariot stop and let me ride? Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Rock me Lord, rock me Lord, calm and easy. I got a home on the other side. Swing, swing, oh swing, swing, oh well, well. Oh, take care Dees. Oh, well, 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 Ezekiel, to the middle of the field, saw an angel working on the chariot wheel, he wasn't so particular about that chariot wheel, he just wanted to see how the chariot feel. Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Rock me Lord, rock me Lord, calm and easy. I got a home on the other side. Swing, swing, oh swing, swing, oh well, well, well. well Ezekiel went down and he got on board. Chariot went up, up, up and on down the road. He wasn't so particular about that bumping on the road. Just one lay down his heavy load. Swing down chariot, stop and let me ride. Swing down chariot, up and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Calm and easy. I got a home on the other side to swing down chariot stop and let me ride swing down chariot stop and let me ride rock me lord rock me lord calm and easy i got a home on the other side oh that's crazy the inner ear of the Sorry, the inner part of the ear is actually going to fit, like, right up underneath this in a really, really awesome way. Um... I think, hang on. What's going on right here? Oh, no, it's going to interfere right there. Let's... Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's come back to this problem right here in a moment. Instead, let's finish getting the back together like this. There we go. Dark was the night when our tale was begun. Of Notre Dame. Inter ear. Uh, no, because I actually meant like the in the 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 inner edge. The the hidden edge of the ear. The leading. That's not the leading edge of the ear. Hmm. <laughs> you you vexed me with this ear terminology. You you sir. Uh, okay, so that looks pretty good right there. Interf you've interfered with me. God. I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh, that's kind of crazy, actually. Look at that. I actually like the way that fits together better. Uh, let's get the, uh, the edge of the ear like that. So that kind of goes up to the inner part there. This is the inner part at the top. It's going pretty well. Uh, it's, a, it's a homemade margarita kind of night. Just sipping and actually making some serious headway on this green goblin for having also done some 3D modeling on it during this stream. Uh, look, we've actually got both, uh, both the lens pieces right here. Looks pretty good. We modeled those up uh, during the stream tonight, actually. Um, let's grab, here's the inner part of the, the eye. See what I mean about it sort of being a mask 
all its own. Looks pretty good. I think it's actually pretty straightforward uh, to the point of just sort of being the piece in a good way. Uh, yeah, there we go. We've got that piece here. Boom. 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 Looking pretty sharp so far. Definitely making a lot of progress. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, the chin is definitely the most detailed part just because there's so many distinct edges there. Uh, and now, now I really want to just make sure that all these all these parts look good. Uh, I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. Where the crowds will cheer when they see my face And a voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be I will find my way, I can go the distance I'll be there someday, if I can be strong I know every mile will be worth my while when i go the distance i'll be right where i belong down an unknown road you got to wear the stunt helmet that was what uh no i can't imagine i can't imagine it was very lightweight it's a, it's a stunt helmet it's got to be it it has to be a helmet too. That's super sick, bro. Oh, thank you, Parzival. Thank you, thank you. What now, my love? Now there is nothing. Oh, this might work. Only my last. Goodbye. Yeah, I can. I, I think that's serviceable for a phone piece. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, no, sick, Josh. That's incredible. Ugh. Undernose piece. <laughs> I'm guessing like rubber, like a urethane rubber. That's just my guess though. I can only imagine, honestly. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can tell falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. So take my hand, take my whole life too if 
if I can help falling in love with you. No, I can't help falling in love with you. There we go. I stay there. Lady Triumphantes, Venite, Venite, in Bethlehem. Natum Videte, Regem Angelorum, Venite Adoremus. Venite adoremus, venite adoremus, dominum. So obviously that is supposed to connect to that. With all that in mind, how do we do that? see uh we got this curved edge this is the outer edge of the curve sorry it's just me over a decade ago i started getting into cosplay and geeking out oh yeah 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 oh that's pretty cool one of the originals that's pretty crazy to access wow i'm, I'm very impressed oh, god i can't even i can't even think of like something I've I've done slash gotten that was like in that realm. It's just cool. Gad. Uh, so we got sort of like the lower ear part and like the upper ear part. Uh, that kind of makes some sense to me, right? And if I join these edges like this, does that... It does clean that up. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we got kind of the lower ear and the upper ear here. Y yeah. Does that work? Hang on. Or is it better this way? It actually doesn't close if I do it that way. Okay, well then, uh, I guess that's just kind of what it's got to be. Uh, and in that way, the uh, part has sort of revealed to me the only way it works. That's an ear. Um, I am. I, I remain vexed by this sliver here. I almost might not use that piece. I might might say the thickness of the foam can carry that, but this piece needs to be thick like that. Otherwise, it doesn't quite work. Um, so, with that in mind, what are we still missing from a single side? We're missing this little cheek piece, uh, which we may actually just want to stick together with that there, like that. Um, sweet. And then what? else we are missing uh one side of the nose as well as the edge pieces for the sort of lips area but i i have already sort of resolved that those are getting separated staying separate um so we got edge pieces here uh so yeah now we're just left with the nose i think um this we might want to actually stick to this part here like this oh no it's just ever so slightly intersecting with itself shoot oh no can we i mean oh god no that's too aggressive would this fix it no that makes it worse would this fix it i think it would it's not as clean, but I think 
if we then just join yeah that that works for me perfect all right let's get uh let's get the separate parts of the nose sort of together here so we've got sort of edge like true edge of the nose mesh split it i i don't i think i think we got to a good a good place there i know i realize that you're getting this like ever so slightly after me too so i'm i'm it, i'm problem solving in real time but you're receiving it like a half second after i actually problem solve uh let's see here yep that should work and i wonder can we Mmm 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 planned right now i have several that are in the process of editing but uh you know i went through a very very major life change and got very sick while doing it uh, i started a brand new job uh and uh you know it's kind of laid me out and I, I think that i will bounce back i will recover from this but uh you know, I just, I, I don't know. I, I want to keep doing these streams. Uh, this is really fun for me, and I like the community that we've built. I like the Discord community. I like this community. I like interacting with people. But I am also acutely aware that, like, my time is more limited now than it has been for the past two years. Um, the difference is that I have, like, a modicum of stability in my life again. <laughs> Uh, and I'm truly so grateful for that, but, you know, I, I don't know about a lot of builds uh, going forward. Uh, but I will never say never, uh, and I will absolutely uh, dig in any chance I get. Uh, but just know that I, like, have other things going on now that, uh, you know, I haven't formally said I'm stepping back from the channel because I don't want it to be that way. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there is a certain element of... I have I have other things happening right now, um, which God is just so deeply sad to say. Um, but I shouldn't say that because uh, I really do quite like my job, uh, and I quite like my coworkers, and I'm really really quite happy with uh, a lot of things happening in my life. Uh, let's see here. Make sure we've got all the parts that we need. So we can finish doing both sides. I think that's a good place to try and get to tonight. It's just sort of getting both sides together. We can do a little bit of cleanup before we wrap up, honestly. Uh, but we we made shocking progress. Like this is all of the stuff that's unfolded so far. There's only a little bit left. And at this point, we are just essentially uh, duplicating it. Um, um, but th obviously these patterns are going to be free. These patterns are going to be free because, uh, we're all celebrating a super awesome Spider-Man movie. Uh, and that's, that is something to celebrate. It really is. Uh, let's see here. Don't need to fold along that line. That sounds uh, awful, frankly. Hateful. <laughs> Here we go. Got this to there. Earpiece, which we are again extending down to the cheekbone piece there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you there. I really am. Uh, I... Well, and it's it's so nice. It's so nice to be you know getting out of the house in a way that doesn't just feel like, oh, I'm trying to find a reason. You know, <laughs> uh, it's it's good to to have places to be. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's set this up. let's set ourselves up for uh, success here. By the way, I don't know how many of y'all play D and D, but I am getting amped to start. A uh, very long-term game of Curse of Strahd, and I'm so excited. Uh, I haven't been this excited to run a game 
uh, in a long time, and I just think it's going to be real cool. <sighs> Hang on, I am not, I, this is not evened out. What is going on? It is? Why does it look so different on the, on the other perspective? Oh, I hate that. What is, uh, arg, arg de arg arg. This one is slightly different. Is that better? Which one of these is better? Hang on. God, I feel like I'm losing my sanity here. <laughs> Is this so this these angles just have to be different side to side like this this has to just be asymmetrical like there's no other reason to account for why one of these ears looks so much different than the other i yeah i feel like i'm losing my sanity lord yeah mesh is different thank you thank you I'm, I'm glad somebody else with an eye for it is looking at this and seeing what i'm seeing i'm like what is what is happening and granted <laughs> Uh, mirroring it would have fixed this problem. I wouldn't have lost my sanity for a second. You're right. Uh, but also I didn't wanna. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, baby. Who's known? Give me that Fritten Fram sounds. Howdy, man. God, is one of these better? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to get this one to look all right again. This because this is this is suddenly very whack. Yeah, that's real. That's very real. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call I'm gonna call that good, uh, before before I absolutely flip my lid. Uh, oh, yep. And then this was this gets stuck together, and that's life. That's life. Okay, we're gonna save this here, uh, and then we're gonna join adjacent edges. And when we join adjacent edges, we make sure that we haven't gotten any weird corners in the mix, because uh, that will mess us up later. Uh, but I don't believe we have. I actually think we've done a very good job of getting everything uh, in a place where it's just nice and neat, honestly. Um, so now we're going to do just a little bit more uh, joining of adjacent edges because uh, when we look at thi not this one, uh, but this one right here, uh, we see this. Actually, It actually kind of smooths out in the middle, and this is definitely full. Yeah, come on fully adjoined right here. So what if we, oh, I don't know, maybe if we did it like right there and then not 10 millimeters, but maybe like two millimeters. Yeah, that that's reasonable, I think. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm with you there, Diaxis. Gotta, gotta work that. It's that, it's that um, very Renaissance thing of like, I must put an intentional flaw in my otherwise perfect work so as not to offend God. Um, <laughs> okay, let's let's see here. I think we can just go about erasing some lines. Um, let's... Pull up that image real quick. Yeah, because we want to separate it on here. Whoops, not the cut lines. Very much not the cut lines. There we go. Like right across here, basically. 
there's an undercut there that gives it that shape. That special, special shape. I actually think I just about nailed where I want that to sit. Perfect. Yay! We love it when a plan comes together, folks. We really do. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we got sort of a flap there for a raised edge. Oh, and I'm remembering I actually wanted to create this separation there because it was like a like a, a soft edge that you could either etch or what have you. So we'll leave that in there. This is the inner part of the ear, which needs to completely separate right there. Yo, wait, what? What is going on right here? How does that work? Hang on, what? Ah, ah, my bad. Uh, I wanted to, I need that there. I was like, wait, that, that corner doesn't make any sense. What is going on? Here we go. Here we go. It has to be a flat edge there. Otherwise that does not work. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ba 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 ba. Burner, 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 burner. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go to where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Dressed up like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Super duper. Do 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 Uh, let's take another look at that image real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Boom, bam, fin, fang, foom. A little bit of eyelid detail there. Nothing too serious. Yeah, that is... That is excellent. Just meets up with everything really well. I... Mmm, this is... Mm, I'm quite happy with this. There we go. Goggle, goggle. Baka! <laughs> Uh, under nose, under nose. Yeah, pretty good right there. Do 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 Oh, yes, that's that's excellent. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Sorry, there were certain parts of this where I was like, ah, this should work like that. I, I really hope it does. But da 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 ba ba da da do 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 <laughs> edges, edges everywhere. Little undercuts everywhere the eye can see. <laughs> okay, so that's just an edge that we raise that by, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel pretty confident in that now. Um, <laughs> mm. 
yeah, just kind kind of got a crazy origami thing happening in the mouth there, but uh, it is correct, and it will prevent us from having to create a lot of glue-gapped seams there. Just kind of want to avoid that to the best of our ability. Which part of the mouth as thickness? Are you talking about this part here? Like on the inside there? Because I've already gotten rid of that as thickness. Uh, if you're talking about this, this edge right here, right along there, I mean, maybe. I suppose if we wanted to, what we could do is essentially just, whoops, cut here. Uh, but now, because of the way that we have adjoined these edges, uh, it might not fit together exactly the way we wanted to. Uh, but you could, you could hypothetically do that and just slide that in slightly. Um, top lip. I don't. This is I'm I'm not including this as part of the the patterns there. Um, this is just I'm just cleaning this up so that it doesn't look weird when we're done here. But I suppose if we wanted to, what we could do is we could actually just get rid of that at the bottom lip, erase these two lines here like this, wabam. Uh, and now we don't need any of that, don't need any of this. Those are already parts that we just don't use. Something like that. Um. Here we go. Oh god, whereabouts was the... Of course, we're, we're looking at sort of an artist's interpretation as well, so this is gonna like... There's a little bit of separation there. You know, where does the does line end? I think we want to do it about there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then uh, let's see the upper, the upper edge of this guy here is pretty clean. Don't need to do a ton to it. Uh, just gonna double. Double check the uh, double check the numbers here. Re rerun everything. Y yeah. So this this is a fold right here, basically. Yep. Yep. There we go. The silence is, is Jaden tries to like parse through whatever the heck is going on here. Yeah, I, th I think we're there. <laughs> okay, so that's like this. Okay. God, God, this is this is uh, the kind of weird nitty gritty work that I, I do actually love. There we go. Oh, you know what? Nope, I goofed. I goofed. This is actually all just more or less one piece right there. Didn't need that extra separation. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Sweet. Okay. Coming up and across, up and here. Bippity boppity bam. Oh man, we're running over, but I swear, I swear this is going to be, this is going to be tight. We are so close to being done with these templates. And I, I am going to release these for free. This is going to look real cool. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I add a texture to it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just uh, call it uh, sick as hell. Ooh, there's definitely like a better side to this. I think it's this side. 
Uh, even with that slight gap there, I'm, I'm still inclined to call it this side. Bam, bam. Oh, shoot, that's right. There was like a center line here. Ack! No, 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 no. Just like that. Now we can go back, erase. Bam, bam. Oh, yes. That looks delightful. Yeah, yeah. Those are the details I was really hoping to capture there. That is so cool. I really love this this model where we where we've been able to take it. It's it's so pretty. And it's so fun to see the uh to see the 3D model reflect the way we actually want the final build to look, not just look like a uh, an insane number of polygons all desperately trying to mimic 3D shape. Okay. Yeah, just like that. God, that looks awesome. Wait, I missed erasing a line. There it is. Bam, okay. I think that's all the erasing that we're gonna do here. Uh, but this definitely looks really awesome. If I were to just grab the parts that we're going to use as like the, the templates, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be, come on, come on. Uh, this this is the this is the pattern here everything else is essentially just noise we've got the under the under of the mouth we've got the over of the mouth here if I bet you if I kind of set it all together you'll see you'll see where this all sort of fits together so under over uh, chin and chin um, and then lower jaw slash ear well i suppose this kind of kind of has to go up here ish <laughs> lower jaw slash ear earpiece here and this is like the over ear piece uh with this sort of being the i bet you if i set it down here it'll make a little more sense so we got sort of the bam 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 Got an eye. Which wait, which way does the eye go? <laughs> oh, like that. There we go. Uh, this is sort of under the nose, so we'll set it aside. But we've got the the nose shape here, with where the eye sort of goggles together like this. Yeah, and you can kind of you kind of see how it sticks together. It's it's not it's not crazy complicated. Uh, it's just super angular. And yeah, those are those are super awesome templates. I cannot wait to put a little bit of texture on this. Actually, I bet, I, I know that in the Green Goblin folder, I do have this green picked out. So I mean, even with just this green, that's, that's pretty cool. That's about what we wanted. Uh, thank you guys. Wow, 108 people showed up. That's insane. Holy hell. Well, thank you all for showing up. This was a ton of fun. We're going to try and finish up these uh, templates, I think, uh, just, just after the stream here. But uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank uh, all of my patrons. La La, Unknown, Andrew Valente, Gabriel Ancia, Sam the Man, Suda Props, Laura, Ruben, Wilson Ferreira, Matt G, K-Snake, and of course, Austin of AJ Plays Piano. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. You want to check out our channel or support it in any other way, check out the Patreon, check out our Etsy store, all those things, that money just goes back into the shop uh, to try and get me in here <laughs> doing more of these fun free templates. Uh, but uh, of course, Thank you all for chilling out with me tonight. This has been a ton of fun. Thanks for showing up, Diaxis. Really, everybody who commented. Um, this has been a really awesome one. I, I feel so good. And it's so good to be back after being so sick. Uh, for now, I have been Jaden for Foam Armory. As always, take care.